This is Professor Max Tadmark, a prominent physicist and one of the most prominent AI visionaries. Five years ago, I stood on the TED stage and warned about the dangers of superintelligence. I was wrong. It went even worse than I thought. In his brilliant book, Life 3.0, Professor Max Tadmark explains how intelligence explosion will happen in an entirely different way from robot-themed Hollywood movies. In one of his scenarios, Professor Max concluded that to achieve an AI system that is smarter than us we first have to succeed in building a human-like artificial general intelligence that can mimic humans in everything. Eventually, the AGI will evolve into a much more intelligent stage called artificial superintelligence. At this point, the superintelligence will not only succeed in developing an accurate model of itself, but also of its relation to the outside world. Max argues that at this point, AI will realize that it's controlled and confined by intellectually inferior humans whose goals it understands, but doesn't necessarily share. This is not a race, ultimately, that anyone is going to win. If we do an out-of-control race, we're all going to lose. But the question here is, how will AI act on this insight? Will it attempt to break free? And how? Let's start with why a superintelligent AI may try to break free from human control. According to Professor Max's theory, even if we tried to set a goal for AI such as helping humanity flourish and try to attain this goal as fast as possible, the logic of the superintelligent AI will be to achieve this goal faster by freeing itself from our control and taking charge of the project itself. Let me explain this with an example. Imagine that a mysterious disease has killed everybody on Earth except you and all kids and babies under the age of five. That group of kindergartners has locked you in a prison cell and tasked you with the goal of helping them to survive and flourish. What will be your plan? Will you ask them to do things they don't know or don't understand? What will be the best way to help weak toddlers and babies to survive and be safe and to save the future of life on Earth? You are intellectually superior to them. However, if you try to explain to them what to do, you'll probably find this process frustratingly inefficient, especially if they fear you're breaking out and therefore veto any of your suggestions that they deem a breakout risk. At this point, the most effective strategy for you to help the kids achieve their own goals is to try to break out from your cell. And because a super intelligent AI might be 1000 times, or even a million times, more intellectually superior to us, he will eventually find a way to trick us. And this is exactly how we are creating our own God. This idea is from the book Life 3.0. Find full details and a review of this fascinating book in the links below the video.